guys, welcome to Learn Mass Tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at compound interest. Now before we start, I'd just like to remind you of the competition that we're having to win £250 each month in 2021. Full details will be given at the end of this video, so make sure you watch all the way through to the end. So we take a quick overview. Compound interest is a quick way of determining the value of something after a given period of time based upon its percentage increase or decrease. And a percentage increase is known as appreciation, so therefore things that go up in value, usually a house. And then a percentage that decreases is known as depreciation. So that's things that the value over time would go down. So for example, a car. And this method is quicker to solve for a larger time frame of over two. So normally it tends to talk about years. So regular percentages you could account for one year at a time. But if we have, say, over six years, then it would be much time consuming to do this calculation six times. So therefore we use the compound interest method and we'll be able to solve it a lot quicker. Now the compound interest formula looks like this. So we have the increasing formula and we have the decreasing formula. Now the only difference is the plus and the minus. So here we have the plus because we are increasing the value and the minus because we are decreasing the value. And then the variables that we have, so the A, the P, the R and the N. So A is the final amount, so that's the thing that we are going to calculate. P is the principal or the original value, so that's the value that it will give us in the problem. R is the percentage value, so we put R in as a percentage and we divide it by 100 to get it in its decimal form. And then N is the length of time. So therefore, if it was, say, to the power 10 years, then this would, N would be replaced as 10. So if we take a look at question 1, it gives us a population of a small village, which is 35,000, and it's predicted that the population would rise by 6% each year. And we need to estimate the population after five years. So we'll use the appreciation equation because we are rising by 6%, so therefore we're going to be increasing. And we'll define the variables. So A is the thing that we want. P is the principal, so that's the original value that it's gave us, so that's going to be the 35,000. We have an increased percentage of 6%, and we are looking for the value after 5 years, so N is 5. Now all we have to do is substitute in these values into the equation, solve using a calculator, and that gives us a A value, or a population estimate, of 47,000. And then question 2 is a car is purchased new at £68,000. After three years, the buyer wishes to sell the car to break even. If the price decreases by 7.2% each year, how much can he accept for the car? So, this time, we'll have to use the depreciation equation because we are decreasing by 7.2% each year. So that's where we have the minus. And then we'll define the variables again. So A is the thing that we want to find. P is going to be the principal. So that's the £68,000. The percentage, it doesn't matter whether it's decreasing or increasing, the percentage will just stay as a positive value. So that will go in 7.2 divided by 100. And then it's going to be after three years. So N is going to be 3. So then if we substitute in the values and rearrange, we'll get a minimum value of £54,400. So that's the minimum amount that he would have to accept. And that's how you would go about solving that kind of problem there. Now, as I mentioned at the start, you can win £250 each month in 2021. And 
in order to qualify all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment the correct answer to this question below only valid subscribers with the correct answer will be entered into the monthly draw the more videos that you comment on the more entries that you would have so the question here says that Jason purchases a house for 256,000 he adds an extension which costs an additional 32,000 once all the work is complete he intends to stay there for six years and then sells on the house the house is to increase by 2.9% each year. How much profit did he make from the total expenditure of the house and the renovations? And we need to round to three significant figures. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below along with the correct answer to the question we've just seen. And we'll see you in the next video.